Hello everyone, welcome to IT530. This is the online version of the computer security class at Marymount University. My name is, Ibra My name is Ibrahim Ozero Jr. and I will be your instructor for the class. If you have taken a previous class with me, probably IT520, then you already know me. However, if you don't, here's a Here's an about me deck. You can definitely go through it on your own time. I'll be uploading it on Canvas. And if you like, you can definitely check it out. I'll be going into the syllabus to discuss the expectations of the class, how the class is going to be administered, as well as what the content of the class will be. When you get the chance, definitely go through all these details related to Marymount University, including how the university handles emergency closing, weather, and how you can access your work, and all those good items. The cost. IT530 computer security is meant to introduce you into the field of security in general. The class will be 100% theoretical, no hands-on, nothing practical. However, I will be showing you a couple of practical aspects, but you are not expected to learn how to do the hands-on part, as well as you are not expected to do anything practical. I'll be giving you a lot of examples so I highly recommend you please follow this video for each single module. The textbook of the class is in different chapters. Basically, each chapter is one of the computer security or rather the information security domain. We will not go in depth into each single domain because the class is meant to be an introductory, in, uh, introductory class into the information security field. However, we will cover every single detail that is within the text. When you get the chance, you should definitely read the course objectives because you will understand what is expected of you as well as what the class is meant to deliver. Next, we will be going into the grading policy. Actually, before that, we will go into the teaching method. Because this class is online, definitely we will not be meeting in person. For each single module, I will record a video as well as put as well as upload a slide deck on Canvas. I will highly recommend that you should always watch the videos, even though you can definitely go through the PowerPoint slides alone. You sorry, the PowerPoint slides only. You should definitely watch the videos because in the videos that's where I will be showing you all the theoretical all the practical and hands-on aspect of the class there will be group discussion forums and open forums in the class there will be quizzes for each single chapter the materials will all be on canvas The grading policy. The quizzes will take 50% of your grade. There will be a paper or article review. Now, you are not expected to do an original research or any of those. The expectation is you should go out, find a paper, could be a news article, could be a research paper, that is related to the chapter or the module that we have covered. You are expected to read the paper and write a review. The review is just highlighting what the paper or article is all about and how it relates to the module that you have read, uh, that we have covered. The paper should be at least a half page paper, no more than that not less than that. 
It should be in New Times Roman. The font size should be 12. 1.15 line space. And you should use the default Microsoft Word margin. You are expected to cite the original paper that you read in an APA format. The review will take 20% of your grade. Now this review will be for each single module. There will be 10 modules entirely in the class. Participation and discussions. Because this is an online class, we definitely need to interact with each other to make sure we all know ourselves as well as we communicate. So there will be a discussion for each single module. After every module, you are expected to either ask a question or answer a question. You are actually expected to ask one question as well as answer a question. In addition to that, questions that are already in the that are already covered in the module or some basic questions that can be found within the slide or within the chapter of the text do not qualify as a question. An example is you cannot ask a question like what is cyber security or what's the difference between confidentiality and integrity because those are things that you can find within the text. You are expected to be creative with your questions and the discussion will take 20% of your final grade. Final exams. There will be a final exams in the class, which is 10% of your grade. The final exams will take, will be unlocked July 29th and it will close on July 8th. You must take the exam, including the quizzes, in one sitting before they close. As for the quiz, they will not be closing. Each single module, when it's unlocked, will not be closed. However, you will not be able to see a module until you have completed its prerequisite. The class schedule. On the first week, which is this week, we are only going to do syllabus introductions as well as cover all the basics of the class. I will highly recommend that each single week you reference, you, you refer to this aspect of the syllabus, that is the task. For this week, you are expected to introduce yourself by the textbook, familiarize yourself with the syllabus, the class content, deliverables, and expectations. You should ask questions and also read next week's chapter, which is chapter one and chapter two. Now on the second week, we are going to cover these chapters. I will highly recommend that you always refer to the syllabus to understand which chapter you are expected to read. The reason for that is because the book has been structured in a way that is kind of geared towards people that already know information security. Now, because this is an introductory class, I did some rearrangements. An example is on the third week, you're expected to read chapter three and chapter five, which means you are going to skip chapter four. We will cover chapter four, I believe, in week six. So always refer to this to understand which chapter is this that you are expected to read for the week. There will be quizzes. You are expected to participate in the discussion. You are also expected to review the uh, to submit a review paper, which is go out there, look for a research or a news article paper, and then review the review the paper, a half page like we covered, and you're expected to submit it. There are no due dates for submission, which means you can submit anytime. However, you do have to submit and complete all the tasks in a module in a certain week before you will be able to see the subsequent module, the following week content. An example is, you have to complete all of these tags on week, week two to be able to see the content of week three. So I will highly, highly recommend again, 
for you to always refer to this to this syllabus because it has everything we are going to uh, everything you are expected to complete now we did talk about the final exams but the final exams you must take the final exams before August 3rd the final exams will unlock August uh, July 29th not August the final exams will unlock July 29th and you have a week to, um, you have five days to complete it I believe you can only take the exams in one sitting I refer back to the exam details over here to make sure you fully understand it if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out to me we will have a review and an extra credit assessment if the performance of the class warrants that now if you have taken a previous class with me you know that i do not give extra credit to single to individuals alone now if you if you know you're going to miss an assessment or you will not be able to do a certain task you can let me know and we'll work around that but i will not be giving a single individual an extra credit I will give an extra credit to the entire class based on the performance of the class. If you have any problems, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I actually highly recommend that you let me know if you are go if you have any issue before it is too late. That way we can work together towards finding a perfect solution. Next, oh, how to contact me? I will have to go back up. I am very good with my email and this is my phone number. I highly suggest that you email me if you have any problem. And if it is an emergency, definitely you can email me or you can contact Marymount's emergency. Now, if it's a class related emergency such that um you will not be able to do a certain task or something like that, or you're running into an issue, definitely feel free to email me. Or if you're having any computer problems, you can definitely send me a text message so I can work with you to see how it can be addressed. Because this is an online class, you are highly expected to have a very good internet connection and to have a device that will support this class. The textbook of the class. The requirement, the required text for the class is the principles of information security, the sixth edition. Now in the sixth edition, I will go to the next page. I am not suggesting that you should buy it from Amazon, but I just wanted to show you the book. This is the book that we'll be using for the class. It is quite expensive. So you have the option to definitely use the fifth edition. You are responsible for making sure that the content of the sixth and the fifth align with each other or filling in every gap that the fifth edition is missing. I will tell you this. I believe, now don't hold me to that, but I believe the content is quite similar and you, was, you shouldn't see any much difference. However, try and get the two different contents of the book I believe you can you will be able to view at least the table of contents and refer to the other versions okay so yes you can definitely use the fifth edition in the class but you are responsible for making sure the content align with each other now we are going to canvas to see how the class is set up this is the class this is how it is. I will be uploading all the introductory details over here and you are expected to watch and reply, basically contribute. You should mark that you have re reviewed the syllabus as well as contribute to the discussion board. Now, when it comes to the modules with the chapters, this is how it is. You are expected to <coughs> mark that you have reviewed the slide, watch the video and everything that is within the chapter one and two slide and resources. You should take the quiz because if you don't, you will not be able to do the next task. Once you're done, you're expected to submit your review paper. I will highly recommend that you always 
complete. Well, you wouldn't be able to do any other task without completing the previous one. However, always get your review paper to be related to the chapter that you have read, basically module two. That is the ex expectation. So if we are talking about cryptography, your review paper should be a paper related to cryptography. If we're talking about physical security, your review paper should be related to physical security. There are a lot of resources out there that you can leverage towards getting papers. Marimont Library, Google Scholar, you can definitely Google how to get all those either news articles or research content. Wikipedia does not qualify as a place to get a document or get any knowledge in terms of this class, uh, related to this class. Now, once you submit a review paper, you are expected to contribute to the discussion board by either asking a question, sorry, by asking a question and also answering a question. It, clear instructions will be within each single page. Let's see, uh, let's take a look at how the student view will be, how you'll be seeing this class from your side, okay? Because chapter two, uh, module two, module one is a prerequisite for module two, you will not be able to see module two until you have completed all the tasks required in module one. Now, the task required in module one as well, you will not be able to review the syllabus until you have watched the introduction and watch the introduction as well as reply. The reply of the introduction is you introducing yourself. Once you have done that, you will be able to review the syllabus. Once you have reviewed the syllabus, mark it as done, and then you'll be able to contribute to the discussion board. As soon as you've done that, module two will unlock. Now, I take that back. Module two, you will be able to see module two, but module two would unlock on the day that it's scheduled to unlock, which is seven days after May 20th. Each module will be unlocked on Mondays. We will be unlocking modules on Mondays. Now, I will show you. As you can see, May 27 is when module two will be unlocked. Once the module is unlocked, the date, based on the date, it will always be available until this class ends. Now, because it is summer, I understand a lot of people will be traveling, some will be on vacation. You have the flexibility of not doing anything on the first week and doing everything next week together, module one and module two, so long as module two has unlocked. There will be no penalties for late submission or whatsoever. However, I do not recommend that you wait to do everything all at once towards the end because it is quite a lot. Just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. I will highly, highly recommend you do not because the task is quite a lot. You will not be able to complete all these tasks if you let it towards the end. If you have any problems, do not hesitate to get in touch with me. You have my email as well as my phone number. Go through all the content and let me know if you have any concerns. The task for this week is you should watch this introductory video, go review the introductory slide, and contribute. The contribution is you introducing yourself. Next, you should go over the syllabus. Make sure you understand it. Then contribute to the discussion board. This will be our general discussion board. You have to contribute to it. If you have any questions, reach out to me via email or text message. I will see you all next week. I take that back. I will talk to you guys all next week. Thank you.